All right, so let's get started. My name is Tristan Thomas with Men Sourcing, and I'm super excited about today's video as we're gonna dive a little bit into exactly our process of how we bid on government contracts, really diving into the DLA system and a new tool that we've actually created that we've used over the last six months, really refining that reduces the amount of legwork it takes in order to do the research, to find new opportunities, and then sourcing it to the manufacturers or distributors. So we're gonna give you a little bit of insight into our process and hopefully you can copy what works for you in order to bid on your government contracts. And I do wanna just uh, thank you all as well too as we just hit 400 subscribers on this channel and I know that seems like such a small number but from our perspective, perspective, we didn't envision we'd ever hit 400. So upward and onwards to that number. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel as our goal is to help you win your first government contract. All right. So the way that I want to bring this up and, and dive into exactly our process to find new opportunities that we're going to bid on, uh, I'm going to bring you to the screen that is in front of you right here, which is the Dibs website. Now, I'm sure you all spend many hours going through Dibs and following the same system or the same, excuse me, the same process each and every day. So the way it typically works is that you'll search based upon the categories. And in this case, you would maybe go to the federal supply class that is right here. You'll type in the four digit federal supply class that you're wanting to focus on. So us personally, we focus on 5305, 5306, and there's many more like 5315. We go about this way. So this is what we do each and every morning. We type in our FSCs and then we're going to choose the different categories that we want. So our company, we're a service disabled veteran owned small business. So we can do this. Also, we want to make sure that we're focusing on the unrestricted non set asides as well as the small business. Maybe you fall into the hub zone. Um, maybe that's what you fall into. Maybe not. Um, but there's different categories that you can fall into to find opportunities that fit the items that you're wanting to supply. So we go through here and then we hit the search button. Now, Based upon those five FSCs, we're coming with over 10,000 records. So there's 10,000 opportunities that are out there to then bid on, right? Uh, typically what we'll do then is go to the issued section, do it based on the order of the newest solicitations that are out here. So just for these five FSCs, I mean, today we're, we're videoing this on September 4th of 2024, and we're even showing opportunities for September 5th already popping up right? Just for September 4th, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it, and it just continues to go on and on. So typically the way that we used to work and do this is we would then go here, we would click on the NSN, it's going to bring us to a page, then from here we're going to click on the solicitation and it's going to download that solicitation. Then we're going to go back then we're gonna to go to the next one, right? Maybe open up a new tab and do it this way. Download the PDF, go back, next one, download the PDF. And eventually what ends up happening, maybe your download folder looks similar to mine where it's just a bunch of solicitations that are there. Then for each one that I've downloaded, I'm now going to click on it and then now go through that 24 page RFQ. And what I'm doing is I'm extracting the information that I'm needing to extract, right? Uh, you can look at the other video that I've created that goes over what you need to extract from these PDFs in order to be able to source it to your manufacturers or distributors. But there's tons of content that you need to extract each and every time, right? And if you're doing this 10, 15, 20 times per day, every single day, you're spending about two, three hours is, is what we measured, two, three hours per day just researching the information in order to then send out that information to the manufacturer and say, hey, can you make this item? So we thought that there had to be a better way as this was a main pain point for us. So what we've done is we've created this system now. What it does is it takes all the information that you would typically go through, through dibs, right? Going through this, going to the RFQ section. And instead of me just typing in all these numbers, right? And doing it this way, uh, it's like 5306, 5305, 5310, and then clicking on the same check marks each and every time. What we've done is we've created a system where it's going to provide you the newest opportunities that have come out for that day. And what it's doing is it's downloading all of the, the solicitations that are out there for the day and extracting all the information from the PDF to then send into your inbox an email that looks like this. Just a generic email that looks like this. So it says all SB, which means all small business items for the day of August 30th, 2024. You get this Excel file that comes to your inbox. And what it's doing is it's showing you all the opportunities based upon the criteria that you were looking for. So in this case, for August 30th, 2024, there were four opportunities. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four tabs. Each tab uh, represents one solicitation that is out there. 
And what it does is it's going to give you all the pertinent information that you would typically extract from that solicitation. So we have the contract number, the PR number, the date, the NSN number, the part number, um, the drawing information if you need that, all the procurement history, and also exactly what is the government requesting. So in this case, they're looking for 554 PG. PG stands for 50. So in this case, it's 554 pieces times 50. They're needing it in 103 days, and this is the packaging requirements associated with it. So instead of you downloading the solicitation on August 30th, it's already going to be inside of your inbox ready with all the information already extracted. Go down to the next solicitation, same information is there for the next a request for quotation the government is asking for. So the way that we go about doing it is each and every day we receive an email such as this and it gives us all of the information. So what I can do is open up that Excel file and I can say, okay, this item right here, part number is this item. All right, uh, the government is needing 1,152 pieces and they're needing it in 104 days. Now I can go to manufacturers that I know can make this piece and say, hey, can you provide me a quote for 1,152 pieces? I've just saved myself 10, 15 minutes just pulling the information. So the question then becomes, well, where do I get this information? How does this happen, right? So what we've done is because we've we've created this system, we now have a tool that we use, GOV Scraper. Dot com. And I'm going to put the link below in the um, uh, video notes that's there. But you would go to this link, govscraper.com, and you would just fill in the information of the items that you're wanting to extract. So the first question says, what FSC codes or type of parts would you like to find opportunities for? Well, all the FSC codes are here for you. All right. So let me give you an example. 5305, which are screws. 5306, 5310, which are nuts and washers. 5315. Right. And I can keep doing this. Rivets anything that you're looking for. All FSC codes are here. Then I move to now step number two. Now I'm going to select, just like I would on the Dibs website, I'm gonna select the categories that I'm wanting to pull the information from. Well, in this case, I'm wanting service disabled veteran owned small business. Maybe it's a woman owned small business. Um, the unrestricted items as well as all of the above maybe small business. So I'm pulling all of this information. So what the system is going to do now is based on those FSCs, give me an Excel file daily of all of the opportunities that match the criteria that I set here. I move to step three and I'm gonna put my email address in. So in this case, Tristan at mendsourcing.com. So you put your email address in here. You wanna click on step number four. And then in real time, what it's going to do is pull the information from dibs and say, okay, how many opportunities are out there for the criteria that you're asking the system to pull? Now, this may take, like it says, two or three minutes for it to actually pull that information. So please don't leave this page and it's gonna take a little bit of time, but once it does, cause it's pulling it in real time, it's going to give you the amount of opportunities over the last seven days. So in this case, what you might wanna do is go and maybe grab a cup of coffee or whatever it might be, because again, it's, it's extracting all of that information, looking up the details based upon the criteria that you put in there. Give it a few more seconds. All right, so in this right here, what it's showing us is over the last seven days through dibs, based upon the criteria that I put out there, there are 24 small business set aside opportunities that are out there. There are 10 for SDVOSBs and one for a WOSB, meaning that there are 35 total opportunities over the last seven days that I can bid on. And that Excel file that I'm gonna get on a daily basis will have each and every one of those opportunities. So this is a great tool that you can use. Like I mentioned, it saves us two to three hours a day. It's definitely a, a tool that you can use as well too. So to gain access to this, all you would do is you would put your information. So Tristan Thomas, I'll put my phone number here of one, two, three, four, five, six, Mend Sourcing, one, two, three, Main Street, let's just say Los Angeles, CA 900901. Uh, and then all I need to do then is just go here and then proceed to it. What it's gonna do, like I mentioned, it's gonna give you opportunities daily. So each and every day, you're gonna get a brand new email automatically it's going to automatically extract all the data that you would need in order to bid on these contracts, go to the manufacturer and so forth. You're going to get that Excel file to you with that Excel file attached. It's going to save you two to three hours per day. If you do have any questions or comments or you want to go through it step by step, we're here to help you as well too, to make sure that you're able to utilize it properly and there's no long-term commitment. The total investment on that is only $100 per month to be able to save you two to three hours per day to get those opportunities. Now, there are other companies that are out there that do offer a service similar to this, but they're six, seven times more expensive than what we're doing. And the reason why is we want to make sure that we can reduce everyone's overall cost so they're much more efficient with the bid process and able to win these contracts. So I highly recommend that you go over to govscraper.com, try it out for, for the first month, see if it works for you, but it's a tool that we use, like I mentioned, each and every day.
Moving forward, no need to go to dibs and do this if you're using a tool that's gonna to pull it for you automatically. So wanted to bring this to your attention because it's something that we use to make sure that we're putting in 10, 20 bids per day. And the reason why we're able to do that is because we're much more efficient in how we're actually getting this information. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, do place those uh, below this video. I will make sure that I do respond and reach out to us if you have any questions. Again, my name is Tristan Thomas with Mend Sourcing. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel, but we are here to help you with government contracting, uh, especially with this web, uh, website, Dibs, uh, helping you with these government and, and DLA contracts. So please do subscribe to this channel and we'll be out with another video next week. Until then, thank you and you have a good day.